guys, welcome back to another episode of a Scratch Tutorial, where today we're going to be stepping up the game. We are going to make a scroller game, and it's going to have, like, collisions. It's basically, like, the basics for any scroller, or at least good scrollers, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, let's get right into it. So let's start off by deleting the scratch cat and making it a new. I'm just gonna make like a <clears throat> like a block. By the way, this tutorial was inspired by Griff Patch's game on Zombie Cubes and this tutorial. So go ahead and check him out. But just make an optimal size for the cube. That's a bit too big. That's about a good size. And just do that. And then make a new, a new sprite, which is gonna be the level. So I'm just gonna do like a random level kind of thing. And then we're gonna make our walls, like this kind of green why not so we are going to make four variables one is going to be scroll x for all sprites one is going to be scroll y for all sprites and then we're going to on sprite one make for the sprite only small x or just some x and for the sprite only y there we go now you are going to add scroll you're going to add x for the sprite only as well and add y for the sprite only <clears throat> then you are going to when flag clicked Set, scroll X, scroll Y, X, and Y, to... You are going to broadcast setup, and go to front. There we go. And now do a forever block and broadcast player move. And also broadcast move level. Boom. Once you have done that, you are going to go to this sprite, sprite 2, when I receive setup. And then you are going to do when I receive player move, create a new block, and it's going to be called player move. Do not add a number trash that um actually <clears throat> i'm not sure if we're supposed to do run screen without refresh so let's try it without real quick and then when i receive player move then player move define player move basically this is gonna be like how much you're like gonna <clears throat> Like, uh, so try move is what we're going to make our next block be named. Then we're going to do X, this, <coughs> X, and then we're going to add another one, call it Y, and do Y. Boopity boo, 
and then we put that in all of these and then we are going to go to if key right arrow left arrow WASD or whatever is press then we are going to go ahead and for example for up arrow we're going to do 0 for x because it's not changing the x position and like 4 for y for down arrow it's vice versa so minus 4 for right arrow it's 4 and 0 for left arrow it's minus 4 and 0 we are going to make this code change scroll with x by round x minus scroll x divided by 10. Then we are going to do the same for scroll y. So just do that. Scroll y. That's wrong way around. I meant to do y for that one. Boom. Then <clears throat> then we are going to do for try move we are going to do uh <clears throat> first of all we're going to do if not touching color and then we are going to do the color that we should not be touching we are going to do this and put that in, duplicate it, and put that in the Y section, and then switch everything around to Y. And there we go. Next up, we are going to do change X by X. I should have called it add X, but whatever. But uh, we're just going to roll with it for now. And now we kind of have a working game. Not. I mean, the collision definitely works. But we still have quite a bit of coding to do. Next up, we are going to duplicate this part. Get rid of the if not touching color blah blah blah. And put it to x minus scroll x. So completely scratch that. And y minus scroll y. Then we are going to go down. And do when I receive move level. Then we are going to put that to that. And then we have a functioning scrolling game. It functions well, but hey, the level is still like too, way too small, right? So to fix that, we are actually going to do a size glitch, which is why we put the when I receive setup. Basically, you are going to do switch to costume 2 which we are going to make right now and make like a small tiny little dot so it can be whatever color you want it to be I'm just gonna make a little tiny dot or actually I'm gonna make it smaller cuz it can be as small as you want the smaller it is the bigger it is gonna be so I'm just gonna do those four dots and then do switch to costume 2, set size to like 300 I guess, and then switch back to costume 1. And this is then it, the whole game. We can get rid of all of the variables. And then we have a functioning game pretty epic gamers if i do say so myself and then we can just make so we don't escape 
the background, the color of our walls. So just convert to bitmap and then do that. And now we have got the background as an actual wall. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And peace out.